Okay, we'll go. What's up, guys? Uh, it's Andrew again with Nautilus Spearfishing. Uh, we're here. Uh, <laughs> we're going to be talking about uh, how to set up not just a breakaway, but hook up your blue water setup. The only thing I'm really missing is a float line clutch, uh, but that's okay. We just don't have one, but I'll show you anyway how it works. So anyway, uh, this is the uh, 140 Laser Open Pro Carbon from Pathos that we were showing you guys with our makeshift uh, uh, breakaway setup. So what we uh, like to do is actually put some kind of tensioner in between uh, the float and the fish. Some people just use a straight bungee all the way through. We like to uh, kind of show a lot of different ways of doing it. This is one way that's kind of a little bit cheaper so you don't have to buy these big giant bungees. Uh, this is an Uptonic 6 foot bungee that stretches to about 26 feet. Has 1200 pound braid inside so you know that's not going anywhere. The only thing we added was this tuna clip on one of the ends. So this tuna clip hooks up to our breakaway right here. Boom. So when you shoot everything goes off. Your, uh, your shooting line, shaft and fish are then hooked up to this bungee. You follow this bungee all the way to the other end and you got your float line hooked up here on another tuna clip. And then on the other end of this uh, float line, you have another tuna clip which hooks up to the D-ring on this uh, two, atmosphere, uh, two atmosphere float. Um, so basically what you got, you got all this pressure being put on the fish from the float, running all the way through this float line into this bungee and finally into the shaft. What happens is if you don't have this bungee to stretch out, you're putting direct tension on this float and on the fish. Chances of breaking off and for the fish to get tired, uh, well, chances of breaking off increase and the fish won't get as tired because he's not fighting against all this resistance. So it's kind of nice to have some kind of uh, bungee uh, on your setup. Again, you could pretty much hook up a straight bungee to this piece all the way to your float line, but those, uh, those pieces tend to be a little bit more expensive. If you want to do that, that would be great, but this is just another way of doing it. Uh, usually a lot of people like using a float line clutch. Also, uh, Neptonics makes a clutch that you would basically undo that shackle piece here, slide the clutch system right through that float line, hook the shackle back up into your, uh, into your clip, and as you pull, as you start pulling the, um, the float line, the clutch engages, it opens up, allowing you to pass the line through, and when you let go, it shoots out, kind of like a Chinese finger trap, and it gets taut again. And that way you don't lose all that line that you gained fighting the fish. There's also a few ways of doing that with a clip, but uh, the flow line clutch is definitely the most effective way. Uh, and that's pretty much it. What you want to usually do is you're going to put your body on the float, kind of like this, and then you're just going to pull through that clutch. If you don't have the clutch, um, you could use a, a tuna clip technically and clip just whatever line you pull in, you clip it, uh, or you can just hold on like a rodeo and just make sure you don't let go of the line. Uh, if you're fighting a big old fish, you'd be happy to have that clutch or some kind of clip helping you out. Um, and that's pretty much a quick run through on how to rig up a blue water setup. Uh, make sure all your pieces are not rusted out. You want to make sure as soon as you see any kind of rust on these tuna clips or anything like that, you replace them. Uh, and that's pretty much it, you guys. Good luck in the blue water. See you later.